To the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, nearly one in four veterans is homeless. Now, this includes many here in the Wabash Valley. A Terre Haute nonprofit has a project in mind to help fill that void. News 10's John Swanner has details. You're looking at one of the largest vacant lots in Terre Haute. It's at 25th and Elm Streets, and it's owned by the City Department of Redevelopment. The good news is that a proposed housing project for homeless veterans could soon be coming to this plot of land. The uh, homeless veterans uh, circumstances in Terre Haute is pretty significant. We've talked to the VA about projects like this in the past. These are preliminary plans for what will be called Liberty Village. The housing project will be 30 units that will be owned and operated by the Mental Health Association. We had over 200 homeless veterans in 2013 that we were able to identify. Wilkie says her organization has been working hand in hand with city redevelopment to find a suitable location for this project. With support from local government officials, this project will take huge steps forward this week, making it that much closer to becoming a reality. If we can find a way to be supportive and utilize uh, federal, uh, state and local monies uh, to uh, improve uh, the quality of place, in our community, we're, uh, we're thrilled to be able to do that. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, I'm John Swanner, News 10. When this project went before the Area Planning Commission, some members brought up concerns with the project. Area Plan Director Darren Maher says those concerns have been addressed. The City Council will consider the rezoning of this property at their meeting tomorrow night. The Wabash